am exhausted. And I just want everybody to know that. It's just one of those days where you, like, stayed up way too late last night. And, and now you do not want to wake up. But we're doing it anyway. Because, gosh dang it, if we're not going to build the dumbest thing you've ever seen in your life. Ugh. It's going to be a good time. I'm excited about it. So, I'm going to go prepare stuff a little bit. I also should tag people, I think. Um, let me make sure. Boom. <sighs> okay. Let's see if LinkedIn's picking up my stuff, because it might not be picking up my stuff. Sometimes it has trouble with that. It's been having a little bit of trouble lately. But how is everybody? I hope everybody's doing well. I am just exhausted. <laughs> Today's gonna be really fun though. Uh, like this is gonna be the first like, I feel like every other professional stream that we've done. Also my lo-fi is quite loud. I'll turn it up here. And then I'll turn down the actual volume on my computer. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Because the lo-fi is smooth, and I want us to have a good time. I want us to relax. I want us to, to be comfortable. Um, the uh, Yeah, so today, what we're doing, let me give it the quick heckin' intro that I usually do. My name is Max. This is Entrepreneur. As you can see by the giant frickin' logo over to the left of me. I don't know. What's up, Jackhammer? Um, this is Entrepreneur, and today we're going to be building macaroniandcheese.org, or at least getting started on it. I think it might take a little bit longer than I think, because we're going to be using Webflow and something more substantial, um, than just whipping up a landing page, right? So it's going to take a bit of time, but we're going to understand the process. We're going to go through exactly what I'm going to build. It's going to be very simple. I'm going to kind of show you how to build in Webflow and how that kind of functions. Um, and then, uh... We will, I'll connect the domain, I'll do everything like that, and we'll discuss how I'm going to build it out in a couple different ways, what I'm going to add to the website, how I'm going to add those features, even if we don't get to them all on stream. Um, I have a theory that we probably won't, just because this is going to be kind of a, a relatively big thing. Um, but uh, we'll discuss the project build, we'll build part of it, we'll get started with it, um, we'll, we'll kind of outline what it's going to end up being, and then we're gonna discuss how we're gonna market it. And that's gonna be the most fun because this is a very unique project. It doesn't really have a value proposition besides being entertaining. And so an entertainment project is gonna be vastly different than, than probably anything that I've ever worked at, I've ever worked with because the, the value proposition for entertainment is so highly competitive and, and, and weird and, and amorphous and it's just, it's funky. Um, <clears throat> it's very, very funky. So I am excited to see how it goes and if I can if I can make sense of it. Also, LinkedIn is not online, so I'm going to shut it off and turn it back on. Hopefully that works. But how are you, Jack Hammer? What's up with you? In the meantime, while you're telling me what's up with you, I am sponsored by two people. <laughs> Um, two awesome companies. Oh, I think that worked for, uh, yes, there we go, so now we are live. Um, uh, I am sponsored by two companies, two wonderful, amazing companies. The first is Restream, and they are awesome, unbelievably supportive. Um, they're the tool that I use to live stream, and, and I was just working with them. Even if something, like, uh, something just went a little bit wrong, but it's super easy just to fix, like, it's just, it's a very convenient tool. It works really nicely. I really like it. Um, and they get, let you stream uh, really fluently to all different platforms all at once. And that's the that's what I really like about it. Because I do YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter, and Twitch all at the same time. And I'm probably going to do Instagram as well soon. Um, so that's all good and great. The other one is V1. Um, and V1 is an amazing no-code tool. Um, what's up, Nick? How's it going? Thank you. I saw your, uh, your, your messages this morning. I appreciate it. Um, I'll talk about what I was doing uh, with relation to that in a little bit. It'll be kind of fun. But I'm excited for you to watch the stream today, too. Hey! <laughs> today should be really funny. Um, but yeah, V1, amazing no-code tool. Let's you prototype and build no-code apps, um, uh, uh, phone applications, <laughs> without knowing how to code or dealing with any learning curve. Like, for instance, Webflow, the tool that I'm going to use to build my website. Um, 
It's super functional, super everything. You can do whatever you want with the tool, but it has a big fat learning curve. And it took me a while, it took me like a week to really get even the small kind of ha hang of it. Um, oh, Jackhammer got ads for craft last night. That is how you know we are doing things right. Um, it makes sense given the stuff that you were sending me. So if, if there's a, yeah, it makes total sense. Um, <laughs> uh, I hope we're, we're going to start getting at the insane amounts of ads for mac and cheese after this. Uh, it'll be kind of fun. But yeah, V1 and race train, if you need. I'm going to drop links for those in the chat. Um, I know, yeah, exactly. I'm already a buyer. I get so many ads for Webflow, which I'm already obsessed with. So why would you advertise to me? I don't know. It's interesting. Ah, excuse me. Um, okay. What was I going to do? All right, yes. I'm going to do my little... Stream copy paste thing. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Oh. Uh, uh, I hope that nobody is as tired as me right now. I am partially dead inside. But in like a fun way. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. You get it. <laughs> um, okay, so there's that. And there is this. Ah. Um, boom, boom, boom. Okay, so what I have just pasted in the chat is a series of wonderful links. <laughs> um, the first is you can subscribe to the live show at entrepreneur.blog. You can see it up at the top up there. Um, it should be in the chat too. Um, if you want to join my online community where we discuss all the stuff that we build on the show afterwards and you're able to ask questions and, and kind of interact with me and, and learn a little bit more based on just things that you're building or things you're experimenting with and also network with the community of, of entrepreneurs that we, that we all, all know and love, um, you can go to enerd.co, which is also right above. Um, there might be some little like, some little security reroute issue. It doesn't like it. But um, if you click the link that's in the chat, it should be fine. Nobody, it shouldn't, your, your computer shouldn't complain or worry about it. But it should just forward you to Partheon, which is an online community that I, I host. Um, so yeah, cool, neato. Um, I'm done with the intro. Sweet. Um, <laughs> so <clears throat> for a little bit of background, <clears throat> a little bit of background, I, where was the thing? Where was the thing? Ah. Uh, the thing, boom, there we go. Um, for a little bit of background, I uh, bought on the last live stream that we did for fun. Um, <sighs> ooh, excuse me. Oh, I'm very stuffy lately. Um, I bought for fun macaroniandcheese.org um, for absolutely no reason beyond I was shocked that it exists and I wanted to build. I was brainstorming with one of my friends and we wanted to build a macaroni and cheese focused forum, just a, a place to discuss mac and cheese. Like there's no use to that whatsoever at all, right? This is exclusively a funny project. There are possible ways to monetize this. There are possible ways to market this in really clever ways. So I'm gonna talk about those later, but the baseline should be the understanding that this is not planned to be some successful business. This is just planned to, 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 to be a funny thing uh, more or less a meme on the internet and be an enjoyable place for people to go, right? To discuss something funny like mac and cheese. Um, we had some ideas on the last stream about like uh, like being on a political spectrum for macaroni or like if you're on the far right, you like craft and you're, you're called a craftist. If you're on the far left, you are uh, a... Uh, what is it? Uh, you are a bakist. I think that was the other one. And Jackhammer gave me like this. He built this awesome like political spectrum analysis for the whole thing, and we're gonna build it off of that. I gotta go grab that off of LinkedIn actually, which I should do right now. Um, it's really really silly, really really dumb. Um, but I feel like nobody can hate on you. Let's see if I can find Jack. Oh, just gonna grab your thing. Boom. Boom. Awesome. Awesome. Save image as. There we go. I'm going to save it to desktop. Mac Spectrum. Awesome. So now we have that. We're all set and good. Restream is doing fine. Happy with that. Um, so yeah, that's all we're going to be building today. We're just going to be having fun discussing that. Um, I do am supposed to have a good number of people from a few different places 
check out this stream. So, uh, James, if you are on the stream, drop a comment. We'd love to know you're here. And I, I am going to do my gosh dang best to impress you <laughs> on, on this live stream specifically. Because um, I would love to do some stuff together. <laughs> oh. Excuse me. Ugh. Uh, okay, cool. So, let's get started. Let's just jump into building something. Um, but, you know, I, I, it's weird. Like, you would think, to, to go back to, to what um, Jackhammer said, you would think you would stop getting ads for things you already purchased. AKA, I should stop getting ads for Webflow. But, for some reason, they don't exclude. They don't go through their email list of people that signed up for their service and exclude those emails, which isn't doesn't really make sense to me. But, I guess, no, you should be able to know which emails have like purchased your your service right maybe there's some correlation to even if they already purchased a service you market to them more to your you market the, the, your product to them more and they're more likely to pay more i don't know I, I'm, I'm sure they have some reason webflow is a pretty successful startup but hey they might be screwing up so cool awesome macaroni and cheese.org yay lit um i'm gonna go i'm gonna build a new project in webflow um, let's do a template, because I do not want to build this from scratch. I've tried building everything else from scratch, and I was terrible at it. Let's try. So we got $49, free, free, free. I'm going to sort by... Your products make sense to keep advertising services, not so much. Yeah, exactly, because exactly, you're already paying monthly, right? Um, that's a good point. Yeah, for products, it makes sense. For, for, for macaroni and cheese, it makes sense, because it makes you want macaroni and cheese, and you're like, oh, I love that stuff. I'm going to go grab it. Um... You know, personal, yeah, this is my personal account. Ember, looks sexy. Chomp for a restaurant. For an agency. What about forum? Is there any way that I can sort by a forum? Kit templates, UI kit, UI kit. Template made for video, UI kit. Portfolio real estate, uh, startup e-commerce, UI kit. Photography blog. Let's go with... Oh, one page. Interesting. Um, view all. <coughs> Can I search? Search for a forum. <laughs> Annoying. Um, okay, so I guess we'll just work with this. Multipurpose, marketplace, maybe a marketplace, help center, entertainment, directory, dashboard, consulting, coffee shop. Be a little surprised if they have a full-blown forum. Yeah, no. They don't have a they don't have a built-out forum. Like, Webflow doesn't have a built-out forum, but I can embed a forum from different services. So hold on. Um, what is it called? Is it member space? Turn your website into member. Yeah, no. So they create memberships for your website or anything you want. Okay, so that's not that what it is. Uh, it's, oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Circle is kind of one. Circle.so. Circle.so is kind of one. Uh, forums for websites. Hive, Fiverr, Crowdstack, Forum Platform. To build an online community. Let's see, because there's a few here that I recognize. There's a bunch of no-code tools that do this. WordPress, no. Heck no, I'm not going to use that. Are you kidding me? Haha. <laughs> um, PHPBV, MyBB, Vanilla, Civil Machine Forums. So no, these, are, these aren't no-code. Free and paid. Form software. Here we go. V bulletin. Discourse. I've heard of discourse. PHPBV. Free. Interesting. Simple machines forum. Interesting. Zen forum. Vanilla forums. Maybe V. Flarum. Flarum is free. Flarum is a new, uh, new contender in the form software space and the open source software is currently in beta testing. Um, still professional, elegant solution to have you focus on user experience. For other fans of a super mobile family, larger. Buttons, infinite scrolling, smooth animations, and a message composer that floats on the screen. So you can keep scrolling through the page without an exit in the box and losing your text. Interesting. That sounds quite nice. Um, no, there's one that I really wanted to use that looks... Because I want to use no-code platforms because they're just insanely easy. No-code. Uh, writing any code. There you go. You've been lied to. Blah, 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 blah. Buddy now, discussion forum. All right, cool. They're not giving me what we want, so we're going to go to MakerPad. Um, <clears throat> so all I want to do, really, is just go and embed a forum on this site, and, and that's going to be a big piece of it, right? The big piece of it is going to be people having discussion and people yelling at each other about what mac and cheese they like more. Um, of course. So let's see. Tool Marketplace. Um, 
Ooh, most recent Mesa. Accelerate your commerce growth. Viv. Uh, visual editor. Digital content. Customers are just content and experiences online. Very cool. And then Webflow, of course, because we're, we love them. Um, Silver Partners, other tools. Let's search. Uh, forum. Oh, whatever. It's not going to be under forum, but I know it's going to be here. Oh, I need to set in. Sorry. Um, boop. And then show me the money. The money? No? Okay. Well, tool marketplace. Um, let's see what we got. Why is it not showing me more? This is very frustrating. Um, I guess these are just... Let's see. Email marketing, hiring, marketplace, uh, memberships. Let's try memberships. Maybe community. Is community a thing? Customer support, maybe? Um, it might be customer support that we might use. Billing page, all in one Notion tool, whatever. Other tools. Customer support. Let's try customer support. Membership billing. Nope. Interesting. Marketplaces, marketing slash growth. I know there's one. What is it? Ooh. Um. Maybe we'll just use one of these no code ones, honestly. Like the ones, the ones that we found um, before. Or maybe we build the whole site on something like Bubble. No, that's a nightmare. Why would I ever want to do that? Um, forum website builder, local no code plaza community, local plaza. There's forum builders. Create a forum website for free. Forms are surprisingly easy to build on the back end. I would think there would be a ton. Yeah, no. I, I figured they're not that hard because it's just some user created content. So let's go back. And let's find circle I know does work. The modern community platform for people. Blah 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 blah. Live sessions, great. Um, very cool. Membership communities, product communities. This isn't necessarily what we want. Here's their communities, podcast communities. Yeah, this is for private communities, but a forum solution. I guess what I was thinking of were, were more like in-depth community solutions. So that's interesting. Um, in that case, we're just gonna do. What we found here, which was what looked really nicely. It looked really nice. It was uh, this one, Flarem. So let's try Flarem. Why the heck not? Yeah, I like it. Look at that. That's cute. Um, sensible, etc. I hope that I can add it to Webflow. That would be ideal. There must be a there must be a forum kind of solution for this kind of thing. Um, let's see. In the meantime, let's just create. We'll fix. We'll get the forum going later. Let's just create a page where this kind of stuff makes sense. Awesome. So let's go and figure out where the heck that is. So blog. Maybe it's blog. Maybe it's blog. Um, yeah. Let's go with blog. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Let's do. All oh, these are paid. I don't want paid. I want a free blog template. <sighs> um, I guess it's just gonna go and make me do this uh, in here because I have to select a free one. So let's just find a blog one here free. Um, is there a blog? Blah, 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 blah. App. That's not bad. App kind of looks nice. Oh, no, it's paid. Um, hey, we have to build this from the ground up. Gosh dang it, I'll do it. Um, fitness. Retail. Maybe retail. Retail might work. Chomp. What about... Houston Agency. Chomp again. Landing page templates. It's cool you can build landing pages on Webflow. It's fun. Um, I might purchase one of those templates just so we can use it in the future. Blog. Is it really not going to give me any free options for blog? That's so annoying. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, well. Let's just go with freaking the one that we found up top. It's a little bit easier to use. It was the this one. Yes, this. Select. <clears throat> this will be called Macaroni and cheese.org ha <laughs> perfect 
Easy. Easy money. Um, and then we'll go with Flareum. Can I embed it? Mobile first. Great. Fast and light. Uh-huh. Developers extend learn on the hard things and create our extensions and customize your community. Bug report, etc. Built with the best tools. Trying to use the right tools for the job that you success with your technology partners. So that's how they monetize. Makes sense. They're open source, but they still get paid for it. That's awesome. Um okay, cool. Documentation. And so we'll try it out. Let's see how it kind of functions. Log into reply. Yep, 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 yep. Forms just like anything else. This is perfect. This is exactly what we wanted. Um, and I wonder if I can just embed this in a site. So let's just message. Let's quickly, can I embed, let's see, embed, embed videos and third party content. How do you use Flarm X to embed? Extended by copying this extension folders. Say, uh, to embed Flarm as commenting system. Yeah, nice. Perfect. Boom. That's all you need. Um, Okay, cool. So I'll open up that later, and I'll do it later. But let's get started building this. Um, so let's see. We have a nav bar. Perfect. Um, let's go and delete that. The alert bar isn't important. Um, we have a, a little home bar. Let's go make a fun little uh, <laughs> uh, little logo. Just because why not? Let's go and create a design, custom dimensions. Let's do 1,000 by 1,000. Boom. I feel like we're gonna go macaroni, pasta, icon. I just want black and white, something super simple, exactly like this. Yes. Um, okay, can we find anything a little bit better? Maybe like some more, a different series of pasta. I wonder, clip art. Is that what we want? No, 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 what we were finding before was good. Logo. Icon finder, that's not bad, that's not bad. I feel like we might do icon finder this one. <sighs> Interesting. Um, let's see if we can find something on Canva too. So let's create that design. Uh, let's go to elements, pasta, noodle. We'll call it noodle. No, macaroni. Um, uh, yes, it does look like that is a code code tool. So we'll see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll find something else. But I guarantee you there's a no code solution for that kind of stuff. Um, if it's a code code tool, as usual, I will abandon it immediately. Um, for fear, out of fear of, uh, being, in, uh, just, uh, incapable. So, you know, that's how it'd be. Um, okay, I'm not finding anything here. Let's see. This is Icon Fighter. It's a product. I can't scrape a product. That would be illegal. Um, Macaroni Icon PNG. This is not a product. The Noun Project. So let's just copy image here. Um, yes, the noun project usually opens most of its stuff up for free. I should have gone and done it online, but I'm not going to. Don't do what I do. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Let's go find some nice text. Maybe this, says the teacher, yeah, <laughs> don't do what I do. Um, yeah, exactly, I hate myself. Uh, so let's see, what, could, what should we this be, what should this be called? It's macaroniandcheese.org, that's what we're going with. Um, maybe we'll just say macaroni and cheese. Um, or maybe we'll do macaroni and cheese. Cheese.org, and we'll left just that and we'll do this and we'll shrink it so it's a little bit more manageable and just something like that what do we think um oh <laughs> uh, let's uh let's make it a different font 
I usually go with like the, the Roboto and stuff, but let's go with something a little bit less than that. I don't know, MicroNG.org, too basic. No, maybe, no, it's premium. High script, that's kind of nice, that's kind of nice. Hey, I kind of like that. I kind of like it a lot. I'll shrink this and we'll make it the same sizing and we'll center that. Macaroni and cheese.org. Not bad. Not bad. Or do we want to call it, do we want to not do that? Do we want to say like the macaroni council or something like that? No, I feel like that's going to be a community within the uh, site. <coughs> My god. Oh, the sneezes. Um, okay, cool. Perfect. Yeet. Um, we're good. I'm going with macaroniandcheese.org. We can change this later. I'm just going to pop this sucker on the site. And um, unfortunately, because this is a simple site, and I want it to be normal and not weird, I'm going to make it uh, mccheese.org. Is it, is it available? Interesting. Or is that what you're, you're, you're saying for the, uh, the, the, the logo? <laughs> also, what's up? Have you been on the show before, Homsick? I don't know if you have. I'm confused. I feel like I haven't seen you before, but I feel like I, I don't know. I feel you seem, your username sounds familiar, but I could be wrong. Um, but okay. Let's go with this for now. Um, yeah, once before, rock on. I'm glad to have you back, dude. It's good to have you here. Um, we're doing some dumb stuff today. <laughs> uh, okay, cool. I'm just going to go with this for now. Let's just keep it nice and simple. I don't want to overthink this. We could spend a year um, building a gosh dang logo. So let's go and pop it on. Let's put this logo um, right in here. Oh, no, wait. Actually, let's go to remove.bg so I can get um, a nice image with it. Boom. Remove background. Perfect. Download it. Boom. Replace image. Upload. Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. With height custom. Um, you know, I love remove.bg. It's super great. Um, so let's go and find max width is 100%. Max height is going to be 100px. No, 100px, my friend. Macaroniandcheese.org. Dang it, it's getting it's being really frustrating. So let's go and reformat this. Let's go back to home. Uh, and then I'm going to go to all my designs. I got to make it easier to use. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to create a design. I'm going to make the custom dimensions 1000 by 200, let's say. And let's jam this into that. Boom. Is that better? I feel like that's not better. Um, let's go and do it again. Let's do it by maybe 350. Oh, that is fat. <laughs> 35,000. Um, okay, let's do this. Let's paste it here. This fits a whole lot better. Yes. Awesome. So that's nice and fit. That looks solid. I'm going to raise it up a little bit because there's some fluff on the bottom. Okay, perfect. Download. Boom. Let's go to remove.pg again. Uh, we will upload a different image. It'll be this one this time. <coughs> um, download. Okay, cool. We're good. So let's go and upload this again. Place image with the new one. Boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Sometimes you just gotta shift. Aha! That looks beautiful. <laughs> um, and now let's go and let's color this. Uh... Let's color this. No, it's going to be this. The background is going to be perfect. In red, let's go with um, mac and cheese yellow. Color. 
mac and cheese color. <laughs> I like this one a little bit. Um, mac and cheese color palette. Ha! Perfect. Um, okay. Color hex. Boom. Mac and cheese color palette. Absolutely love it. This is hilarious. I'm going to grab this. I feel like this is the cheesiest of the five. And then we're going to go, we're going to add that to, yeah, you know what? Actually, let's go and delete all these colors because I want to make a color palette exclusively for this project based around mac and cheese. <laughs> I've never done something so dumb in my entire life. This is great. Uh, okay. Boom. And then we're going to add this. We're going to call this middle mac. Not middle max, middle mac. <laughs> God. Um, so hold on. It'll be, it'll be this. Yes. And then I'm going to create a swatch out of that. Middle mac. Again, middle mac. Um, <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely love it. Um, <laughs> we don't need this. We don't need any any functionality towards e-commerce. So I'm going to get rid of that div block. I'm going to... Ooh, interesting. Interesting uh, animation. I feel like I don't like that. I'll change that later. It's not super important right now. Um, also, am I missing anything? Anybody commenting things that I'm missing? Anybody have any uh, like input on this? I'm like just like flying by the seat of my goddamn pants here. Like anything that you suggest, I am down with, um, 100%. So please hit me up. Um, let's make this slightly bigger. I want to make. Uh, also, we don't need donate as a nav link. We don't need shop as a nav nav like nav link yet. <laughs> Atrociously beautiful. Exactly. I'm glad. Um, contact. Uh, sure, we'll add that later. About and home are super important, of course. So what else can we add to the nav link? Let's add, let's do, let's, let's copy this, copy paste, and let's call this one. What else do we need? What else do we need? So we need home, we need about to talk all about how ridiculous this is, and then we need the forum. So the forum is going to be there, um, or discussion. Or community. What else could we say? We could probably say discussion. Um, and then we'll copy-paste that. And this discussion is going to be... <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Discussion. Discussion, discussion, discussion. Um, that'll be where we have the forum. That'll be where we post kind of things. Blog. Blog is going to be important for us because we want to create content that ends up showing up in... Uh, Google eventually we would love to be found on Google at some point and the main way that we're gonna do that is by getting as much traffic as we possibly can to the site um, and just getting kind of a boost that way which apparently is a boost I didn't realize until it happened for me but blogging is also gonna be nice right just writing ridiculous articles about the best mac and cheese in the world right without bias kind of thing just to, to be really silly about it also let me put chat is chat should be up um, could just cheat and link it to a discord or something i may i may just link it to to an external community yeah but it would be nice to have it on the platform if it's not too expensive and it's not too difficult for me to do it would be really great for me to have it on the platform because then that's user generated content and people discussing mac and cheese and answering questions about mac and cheese and all this different kind of stuff um the uh, like process of doing that is going to create content on the site and if we create if we get people to like just complain and talk and 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 discuss mac and cheese that's going to give us another huge boost so ideally i want it on my site because i want the seo boost but we'll see we will absolutely see um here's a jingle for you when you're working on a social media video clip media phone boy mac and cheese life mp3 <laughs> um let me grab that and send that can i not copy paste that uh, there we go. I'm gonna copy paste that. I'm gonna send that to my phone. Um, I'll check that out later, my dude. That's super cool. Thank you, Carl. Um, <laughs> that's super fun. Um, and no, I'm listening to the lo-fi in the background. If that's if that wasn't immediately obvious, just the the um, <clears throat> this the very pleasant, pleasing lo-fi girl hanging out with her cat, doing unbelievably relaxing things. Um, okay, cool. So we have the logo done. This is all good. We've done removed WG. We have our uh, our color palette. Oh no, wait, we don't. We want the color palette. Sorry. <clears throat> History. 
I can choose color palette. <laughs> okay, cool. The and then I have that, and we'll connect the domain. Um, <clears throat> let's make sure. So let's go and delete the other sh pages. We don't need this, so I'm gonna delete this. Yes. We don't need donations, so we're gonna delete this. Yes. We don't need contact yet, so we're gonna delete this. Yes. Um, settings and info. Oh, style guide license. Very cool. Um, <laughs> history, exactly. I know, yeah, you don't want to show the history. I'm pretty wholesome, I feel. Uh, I, I wouldn't worry. Oh, this can't be deleted because it's, uh, oh wait, why can't it be deleted? Because it's not empty. Interesting. Oh, you have to delete the elements first before you can do that. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, plus it's also probably important. Um, okay, cool. Business. I like it. Uh, so let's go and copy paste the about page. Yeah, here's a basic about page. Um, we're probably going to fill out this first. Um, <laughs> wholesome equals auto deleting history. Exactly. That's the only way you're truly wholesome. Um, okay, so discussion. Let's make sure. Where does this discussion go to? It links to a page. It links to the page about, just like this, right? And this links to business template. Link to about. This links to about. This links to about. Okay, cool. So we need to create a couple more pages. Um, great question. How sick. Um, I've tried Bubble. So I learned Webflow, and it took me about a week to get like semi comfortable with it. And from there, I was just fucking around, and eventually, I got to the point where I was like, okay, yes, I can totally use Webflow, right? <sighs> Bubble. I have tried it. I like it because it has such massive functionality. There's a few little things that just, it doesn't do, which really annoyed me. Like you can't import images via links, which is really, really weird. They just don't have that functionality, which I feel like is pretty basic on other platforms. And I could be wrong, maybe it isn't. So it, it, it like annoyed me there, but I've tried Bubble and I've built some stuff in Bubble. I would have to, like almost have to, build something in Bubble off of a template. Whereas with Webflow, I'm comfortable enough to build something from the ground up. But everybody that I've talked to and everybody that I've seen on the internet, on Twitter, always complains like, oh, I could never use Bubble. It's too hard of a learning curve, right? And it is. It has a really fucking huge learning curve. Like, it's really weird. Um, I would much prefer, if I was going to build something like an app, I would probably use something like Adalo, to be totally honest, just because Adalo is just way easier for me to use. Um, but I really do like Bubble. And I really do like the templates that Bubble has. Like, I built, uh, what was it? Um, let me actually go show you one of my bubble things. Uh, I have a very silly idea for bubble. Um, it's called Venture Daddies. Um, we're gonna ignore the concept of it, and I'm not gonna tell you exactly what it means because it's not ready yet. Uh, no, this version of bubble, whatever. But I was able to. <laughs> Daddy's listening so far. I, I'm not gonna explain this. It's gonna get into the it, yes, wholesome exactly. But um. Uh, oh gosh dang it, it's, it's showing you what exactly this is. There's there's words there that tell you what it is. But I was trying to build this and I was able to build an upvote system super easily off of a template. And I probably couldn't do that on Adalo just because Adalo didn't seem to have that functionality. There are a couple of other tools like Pori. Pori seems really cool and they kind of had a template but it wasn't as simple as I wanted it to be so I wanted to build it on Bubble. But the way that I was able to do that, also what's up Kevin, how's it going? Um, but I was able to do that really, really quickly and really simply. Um, using Bubble, just based because they had a template. But it's just really hard to build stuff from the ground up without templates. You have to have a really nice understanding of the tool. That said, like, if I'm going all in no code, I'm probably going to take the time at some point to build, like, a lot of stuff on Bubble, and I get really good at Bubble, because if I can use Bubble really effectively, like, you don't really need many other tools. Um, or if you do, you can directly integrate them, and you don't need Zapier or anything confusing. Um, there's a ton of plugins for everything. It's like Webflow. It's like any, like a really popular website builder. Like it's gotten huge enough to the point where you can do pretty much anything you need with it, assuming you grab plugins, right? I don't know. I have no idea. But I would like to get good with Bubble at some point in the future. I don't need to now. It's just like as I can solve it with a few other much simpler tools. Ooh, really? Is there a new one? Interesting. Um, Editor X. X. This is very cool. Um, I consider myself a fairly decent web developer, but starting from nothing is ridiculous. Exactly. No, yeah. Starting from nothing is ridiculously hard. So I always use templates. Um, interesting. Build outstanding fluid websites with flexible grids and full breakpoint control. That's very cool. Sounds like a Webflow competitor. Yeah, yeah look at this. They have a very similar, a very similar uh, uh, designer to Webflow. That's pretty funny. 
Hey, that's cool. That's very cool. Yeah. So no, yeah, this looks like a Webflow competitor. This is super cool. Um, I'm already hooked on Webflow. I probably and I pay for Webflow already, so I'm probably not going to be switching anytime soon. But I'm very interested to see if this if this gets traction because Webflow has a lot of popularity. It would be very interesting to see if they if they somehow capture more of the market share. Um, but that's really cool. Uh, there's always new pop. There's always new platforms popping up. What was one of the ones that I thought was super lit? It was I really like Universe. It's it uh, University dot Webflow. Um, universe. Universe website builder. This is super cute. I really like it. It's on universe.com. You make a website from your phone in minutes and you're actually able to prototype websites really simply. And it only really works for like mobile sites, but you can build mobile sites on your phone really, really nicely. And I really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun. And there was another tool that was doing this um, for apps, I think. You can build apps on your phone. We'll see how that goes. But I like the idea of just being able to do it on the fly. I'm always going to use Webflow. And I'm always going to use something like Bubble or a dollar or something more intense on my desktop if I really want to build something substantial. Why the fuck would you, like, deliberately build it on your phone? Um, unless you're doing mobile, in which case maybe that makes sense because you want to optimize the mobile experience as you're building it. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Develop from a phone. So I like it because... If I need to whip up something on the fly, it's unbelievably easy for whipping something up on the fly, right? Like, it it works off of templates. It's super, super simple to use. If it's just a basic, like, mobile-designed website with, here's a thing that I do, here's a little bit more information, here's where you buy, right? Something like that. Like, if, I, if, I, if there's a little product that I want to just quickly get out there and sell conceptually, I can do that on a mobile-friendly avenue in, like, 20 minutes. I was I was at my friend's place and they were taking a shower and in the period that they took a shower I designed an entire website on my phone like it, and, it, and it was very very simple and I used a template like it wasn't something unbelievably unique but it worked right and and it's just nice to it feels fun to be able to do that just prototype really quickly I like things that you can use to prototype really quickly because even if you don't use it as a website you can then go and send it to somebody on their phone and say hey what do you think right in like just like like you're on the bus and you have an idea right. Um, hardening of weapons over the fly is catching the fly and holding it. Yeah, no, it's it's that's that's a good point, Toast. I don't fully understand exactly what you're what you're saying there, but <laughs> what's up, Toast? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. We're building macaroni and cheese.org with macaroni colors, as you can see. Um, so let's make a couple new uh, pages. Let's copy the about page. I've reached the maximum number of pages for this site. Oh, am I on a free plan? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, so I probably have to do, yeah, click here to get a custom domain. Yes, yes, yes. Is it gonna, yeah, it's gonna charge me. Okay. Um, to figure your sales a year. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so this is e commerce. I don't want an e commerce site, I just want a basic website. Connect your domain, SSL included, 100 static pages. There you go. There you go. Um, 500 form submissions, great. 25,000 monthly users, bandwidth per month, great. 20,000, no CMS items. So that's going to be a problem because we want to blog. So CMS is what we're going to need. Um, uh, what's the max for the free? I'm actually not sure. What is the max for the free? Um, site is currently on free staging, which comes with 500 views, 50 CMS items. Oh, there is some CMS items and two static pages. Set also has limited CMS management and form customization functionality. Interesting. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And if we're going to embed something from the outside, I would assume. Also, you know what? Let me, let me just make a note of this. How to build a forum on a web flow. Why am I not just Googling that? Creating a forum. Boom. Web flow integrations. Forum. Fucking, what am I doing? Jesus Christ. Um, <clears throat> here we go. <clears throat> Webflow is just using discourse for this forum. I think it's the best way to integrate a forum in your project with a third-party app and a subdomain. A lot of, uh, a lot of forum app out there. Boom. So we're going to use discourse. Fuck this other one. <clears throat> cool. <laughs> um, so we'll embed this in our site. I think it was under a subdomain. So hopefully that'll still affect SEO. Um, choose your own adventure. Customize your style. Um, let's see. Automate, uh, moderate less, of course. Self-service hub, common questions, interesting ideas, and useful discussion. Searchable discussions. Searchable discussions is what we want. Absolutely. Um, whoa. Manage your forum hosting from $100 a month. Um, interesting. 
So hold on. So I can install it from GitHub. Do you run an open source project or private free hosting? Open source forum software forever. So why is it managed forum hosting from $100 per month? Interesting. So let's go up to pricing. About customers, testimonials, who we are, what it is, contact us, features, pricing. Here we go. 14 day free trial. It's obvious it's always good, but quick and accurate. Frequently asked questions. Interesting. This course and always will be 100% free and open source. You may want to self host for reasons other than the budget, including privacy and full control over the free software that you've installed. Here's you can install it on shelf on your own server. The community can install this course in the cloud for you for a flat one time fee. Please note that a $5 a month per hosting fee is still payable from the, to the cloud provider, DigitalOcean. That is optional. That option is completely self support after the initial install. Interesting. Interesting. Um, uh, yes, I might have to hook it up to my own database slash server. I'm not paying a hundred dollars a month. It's just that's that's too much. Um, but it is free and open source, uh, which is great. So perfect. Let's go and look. Actually, let's go back to Webflow forums. Forum Webflow website toolbox forum integration with Webflow University. Um, easiest way to have no coding, no software, or servers required. The website website toolbox.com easiest way to create a forum great what's your fucking pricing okay monthly billing 40 bucks per month that's better that's better <laughs> okay 2.9 percent transaction fee 10 page views per month chat and email support seamless web seamless website integration we like that match your donating website layer and login process drive subscription fees show your own ads no website toolbox branding great can I do it for free? Um, can I change plan? How reliable is your service? Yes, yes, yes. What is the page view? Payment options. Cool. Do I, have, I have to have my own website. What is the transaction fee? Um, so this looks nice. This looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. I like this a lot. Features. Let's try to see features. Uh, aha! Search engines love forums. SEO is built on the foundation of your forums so you get the best results. Boom, exactly what I wanted to fucking see. Facebook or LinkedIn login, that's quite nice. Um, makes your content, uh, and social sharing makes your content go viral. Yes, yes, yes. Um, incentivize quality content by assigning users a reputation score. I like that. Send instant messages, can they search? Can they browse on your forum, keeping it on your forum for longer. So instant messaging as well. Um, perfect. Chat rooms, awesome. Form offline, uh, send a private message. That's super fucking cool. Easily embedding videos and saying, okay, cool, awesome. HTML posts. Um, return to a topic or your last reading time you were on topic. So you're perfect. Follow all kinds of content throughout the community. Replying by email ensures the user can quickly and easily reply even while in a hurry. Perfect. This looks like everything you can at other people. This is beautiful. Updates and notifications. Hide and show content they want to see. Polls. Specify user information. This is, yeah, this a built-in calendar. Hey, cool, we could host <gasps> mac and cheese events. Oh, that's fucking funny. That's super fucking funny. Exciting titles. Yes. I want to see. Can you search? I'm assuming there's, I'm assuming there's a search function. Um, completely invisible to your users. Use your own local domain, website, list, CSS, and much more. Yes, 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 yes. Um, choose from your pre-made themes and customize your theme, a theme to your liking. Integration. Quickly and easily embed your form into any page of your website. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. I love this. I love it. I absolutely love it. Uh, okay, cool. Let's go back to pricing. How long is our uh, free trial? Free trial is 14 days. No credit card required. Fuck it. Let's do it. Username. Entrepreneur. Um, oh, your username will be using your form's domain name. Uh, you can customize your form. Okay, let's go macaroni boy. <laughs> password, let's generate a secure password off of the screen. Uh, secure password, boom. Cool, email address, make sure you want to come. Website address is going to be macaroni and cheese.org. Use macaroni boy as my admin username. <laughs> Uh, we'll call it, we'll do macaroni nerd. Macaroni nerd. 
Macarona nerd. Um, we'll do it. That works fine. Uh, this is hilarious. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Um, <laughs> uh, nerd indeed. So let's see. Forum address this macaroni nerd discussion community. I'm going to embed this. Use this URL. You've referred zero new users so far. Earning your bonus. Blah. Use this URL. Oh, I can refer users. Hey, that's cool. Um, customize. Customize your theme. Angela. Playtime. Classic. Material. Lights out. Minimal. Compact. How about we do... I like playtime. Fun, colorful, and rounded grid, th grid layouts. I like that. I like that a whole lot. Um, you know what? Because I like it, we're going to activate it. Um, <laughs> let's customize playtime. Colors and backgrounds. The base color will be, I assure you, <laughs> macaroni. Um, okay. Let's go to base color. Let's do this. Perfect. Um, multicolor tiles. Let's not do multicolored tiles. Let's just keep it nice and Ooh, I love this. I love this. Even the, the, the even the text feels macaroni. -y. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. Ah. Oh, I already love it. I immediately love it. I'm in love. This is great. We got a chat down here. Perfect. This is all I want. This is all I could ever want. So that's the main color of our whole entire thing. So save. Great. Um funny if we just added like an insane unbelievably aggressive macaroni background what a nightmare that would be um looked over the discourse docs but it looks decent enough to install the server probably costs five dollars a month if you want to keep it longer than 14 days okay cool then we might do that um uh drop shadow is macaroni like yes it is is that the name of the i'm shocked that you knew the name of the fonts off the top of your head on sick that's crazy i'm mad impressed <laughs> um but that's perfect. That's perfect to know that it's easy to install. And I can install it and like embed it on a website. That's the most important thing because I want it to be on a page on my website, right? Um, so perfect. If that's, if that's free and easy to do, $5 a month is not a problem at all. That's perfect. Um, so cool. We have this. Playtime theme has been activated. Services, form, chat room. Yes, great. Perfect. We don't want circle. We don't care. Uh, let's go to dashboard. Let's go and integrate it. Let's embed it. Uh, cool. Um, begin website. What's the forum embed? Where is the forum embedded? Yeah, so this should be at uh, HTTPS, da da da, www.macaroni, macaroni and cheese.org slash forum. Oh no, wait, what do we call it? What do we call it? Discussion. Yes. Uh, discussion. I know it's going to be... Yes, yes, yes. Please check the URL and try again. Um, okay, so let's go and make that. I feel like right now... Yeah, you know what? Right now, let's just save this about... Let's make this about discussion. Let's just do it with the free tier right now. Because those are the most important things. We're going to delete blog. I'm going to delete about. I'm just going to do home and discussion. And this is going to be called discussion. So this nav links to page discussion. Yes. Okay, cool. Back to instance. We have discussion and business template. I'm going to rename this to be home. So I don't get confused. Save. So we have home and we have discussion. Perfect. Um, it creates a subdomain. Okay, that's close enough, I feel. That's probably close enough. I like this because it guaranteed, like, uh... I'm getting a call from my friend Merrick. I am in the midst of something, Merrick. Um, the... Uh... Uh... I like the SEO elements of this, right? So I'm probably willing... 50 bucks a month is a lot. Am I willing to, put, to pay 50 bucks a month for this? To be totally honest, I might be. Um, 
uh, so we might do discourse. We'll see. We'll, I'll figure all of that out. Um, I will absolutely figure all of that out. Let me text, make sure no emergency is happening. Ugh. Cool. All right, so we have home and discussion. So let's go to discussion. Boom. This is discussion. Great. <laughs> um, let's delete the hero wrapper. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care about the hero section. I also don't care about this. Ooh. Uh, nice. I'm going to add an embed. Can I use embeds on this tier? Aha. I cannot. I knew it. I goddamn knew it. So what do I need? What do I need? What do I need? I don't need this. I need this. Can I use embeds? Embed. Embed. Where the fuck? Where the fuck? Um, <laughs> mad lad. Can I? Where is the embed? Are you, am I being like gaslit right now? I know you're here. Uh, form, email for university videos, credit card billing, no embeds. Maybe it tells me on the thing. You can do super cool things. Script code. Yes, 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 yes. Who cares? Um, why are you, why are you freaking doing this to me? What kind of a. This is terrible. This feels so mean. Connect your domain. I want embeds. Email support. That's not... I don't care. Oh, it's so... They're so janky about it. I hate you. Webflow embeds. Custom code. Custom code embed. I need to be on what tier? Add an embed element. Come on. Come on. Preview the embed element. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you're such an asshole. I'm embedding Google Docs. Ooh, for a Google Doc or spreadsheet. You can embed Google Docs in sheets? That's so nice. I thought that was a difficult process, but that's really nice. Preview the embed code. Blah, 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 the embed element lets us integrate code right into our project. Uh -huh, and uh -huh. To demonstrate this, we'll use a custom form embed from Typeform. Right. But this process is similar for most third-party embeds. They'll mm -hmm. usually provide code that looks uh -huh. something like this, or this, or even this. Uh -huh. We simply right-click to copy the embeddable code to our clipboard, uh -huh. and over in our project, we can access our embed element located under components in our elements panel. Great. And we'll place this in a container to constrict its width, but you can put the element wherever you what choose. What does it cost? For now, we're immediately shown the code editor. Uh -huh. to paste in the custom code we oh my god before. now the code might not have I'm going to kill you breaks in it horizontal Every time there's a script preview right if your third-party code doesn't expand as we covered earlier this type form embed uh -huh. double click the embed element to embed uh -huh. lets you place it in a specific location on the page thanks for the help um <laughs> I am salty let's go back here let's control form embed oh you're such an asshole what uh, tier, uh, what Webflow subscription, uh, has embeds? Um, how do I embed code in Webflow? Oh my god, I'm gonna kill you. I'm straight up gonna kill you. Uh, do I just need a paid tier? Embedding podcasts, pricing plans, must include embed. For fuck's sake. Oh my god. Why is this so hard? Dynamic embeds is a premium feature? For fuck's sake, tell me. The custom code was limited to personal printer hire. Host and subscriptions. Host and subscriptions now include the ability to use custom code. Okay, so any of them. Any of them will let me do this, which is perfect. That's all we really need. Um, I just need a very, very simple uh, uh, thing. So as long as we need 2,000 CMS items, I don't know if we'll need 2,000 CS, um, CMS items. I feel like we'll only need 50. CMS API applications, site search, that's kind of nice. Um, three content editors. The, be able to, the ability to have other content editors to, to add articles and blog articles and things like that to the site would be really nice. Um, who knows? I'm probably just going to go with basic. 
No CMS support. Uh, okay. Hmm. I might do CMS. Whatever. Regardless, we'll add that later. But basically, it's just going to be an embed. Um, the embed will be right here. Embed. And I will embed the code from here, right? Um, I'm going to do all this a little bit later. I, I, I don't like paying for things on the stream. Because <laughs> it shows card information and stuff like that. <clears throat> but, um... Also gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna make this image the macaroni and cheese logo. <laughs> so boom. Oh, that's huge. That is too big, my friend. Um, okay, and also that needs to be white. So I'll need to make a white version of it, I think. Um, maybe I can just delete this. I don't. Who cares? Who honestly gives a heck? Um, photo logo column. Whatever. Um, okay, cool. So we have the embed here. That's the discussion forum. For the home forum, uh, let's go back here. Let's do a little bit of, of fun kind of talking about, uh, do we need this? I feel like I guess we need a hero wrapper. I feel like we don't really, but it, it feels somewhat necessary. Um, yeah, shop products, donate, give by gift cards. Yeah, 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 support square, support wrapper. I honestly couldn't give less of a heck. Um, I'm not going to add a ton of images to this. This is going to be a, a weird, annoying professional website. Uh, products. I don't want to sell products, so who cares? Shop local. Um, so let's just do a little bit of discussion about why macaroniandcheese.org exists, right? Let's see. Um, it exists because... And we're going to call ourselves experts. We're absolutely going to call ourselves experts. I don't even care what you think. You're, you're doing, but we are experts here. So you know what, I'm, I hate this. I'm just gonna get rid of this and I'm gonna talk about it here. So, um, let's delete this. Let's delete this text box. Um, we're experts in one thing. Macaroni and cheese. Um, uh, we don't claim to be smart. No, <laughs> I really, I really shouldn't say shit like that. Uh, let's think of some like, like genuine lore for why macaroni and cheese.com exists. We're experts in one thing, macaroni and cheese. Um, we take the dish very seriously. Um, uh, we take the dish very seriously and we hope you do too. Hope you do too. And we hope you do too. This uh, website um, is here exclusively to, um, well, no, we're here. Let's say we're. We're here exclusively to provide a forum to discuss, um, debate, and learn all about what Mac and Cheese has to offer. Um, <coughs> And then we'll do a type form that we'll also embed. So let's go to type form, and we're gonna use uh, we're gonna use Jackhammer's um, method. So we're gonna I'm gonna go log in. I'm gonna go yes, this is the right one. Let's go to here, new type form, start from scratch. This will be uh, macaroni spe political spectrum. Spectrum. Boom. Continue. And we're going to ask a few questions. And so the first multiple is going to be a series of multiple choice questions. There will be a welcome screen. Hey, welcome. Um, uh, well, hmm. So that'll be another page. That'll be a whole other page. Um, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So let's pull up your thing, Jackhammer. And then after we're done with this, you kind of get the idea. So the three things that we're mainly going to implement are, well, four. I'm going to add a fourth thing. We're going to have the main page, which is just this. Uh, this is the, the main page. Or is this the discussion page? I feel like, no, this is home. We're going to have the home page, discuss what's we, what we do and what we're all about. We're going to have the discussion page, which is the forum that we embed from, others, from some other source. Maybe it's, maybe it's a discourse, maybe it's something else. Um, it's probably going to be discourse. That sounds like the cheapest option, and I don't want to spend money. Um, then we are going to uh, have a blog. 
where we have just like that is that is what we have um it's just for me and a few other people to be able to write articles about what they are passionate about with relation to macaroni and cheese and then finally we're going to have probably embedded on the home page uh, a type form and the type form is going to discuss this and this is um alt left alt right center center left center right jackhammer did an entire like deep dive into the the reasoning behind uh people like how to identify people's political perspectives on macaroni and cheese and i love it i absolutely love it i'm obsessed with it and so based on that i'm going to build a type four <sighs> oh god the hiccups are here <laughs> why do they always come while i'm on stream Um, I'm going to ask a series of questions to kind of discuss where people fall on this, this spectrum and put them at alt left, center left, center, uh, center right and alt right. And, and I'm going to put them all. And that means you like this, this, and this, or these are the groups that you identify with, right? Far left is the baked mac and cheese. Far right is like pure Velveeta or, or, or craft with a bunch of, a uh, bunch of added butter, stuff like that. But I'm going to add this and I'm going to embed it directly into my site right great so that's essentially what we're going to build right? like that is the entire thing that will take me probably uh this next week to set up hopefully i'll be done by the weekend that would be amazing um i'm gonna look into this course uh i would love to to know how to do that i might hit you up jackhammer if i need a little bit of help on how to install discourse just automatically into my site um, a subdomain is fine so macaroni and cheese.org slash blank right is is kind of what it is or is it, is it like discourse.macaroniandcheese.org kind of thing? Uh, I would love to know what that kind of means. But regardless, that sounds like it should be fine. Um, if Webflow uses it, then it helps with SEO. I don't give a heck. And that's all we really care about. I want all the content that people write on my site to be heavily related to mac and cheese. And so we get a massive boost on that specific keyword, right? And then I'll also do blog articles and long form stuff to, to kind of help people. But so great. Building this product is going to cost me five bucks a month to host the back end kind of thing, the back end server for the, the discourse. And then it's going to uh, cost me, I think, 16 bucks a month to host the website. So boom, 21 bucks a month to host this and have a lot of fun with it. Right. Awesome. And all the other tools that I'm using, like type from everything else you get for free. Um, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, no, I, I will absolutely hit you up on that, Jackhammer. That sounds perfect. Yeah. Discourse.domain.com still affects the SEO. It's still under the base domain, I'm pretty sure. So it should be fine. Um, but great. Awesome. Lit. Perfect. Uh, oh. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. So we'll use Discourse. Um, so heck this. Uh, also, let me go to Webflow and change this page to discussion. Uh, no, we're going to go here. Boom. We want to make this slash discussion. Slash discussion. Boom. Save. Perfecto. And so now maybe if I do this, it won't eat me as much. Discussion. Not chatting. I don't care. So we're not going to use this. We're going to use discourse. So let's go and open that up. Um... No, I want the mac and cheese palette. Discourse. Discourse.org. It's cool that it's a .org because we're also a .org. Oh, I type form. I put it away. Uh, I don't need this. And I have macaroni and cheese.org. Great. Um, log in. My workspace. Macaroni political spectrum. So I got to build this out. I have to attach discourse. I have to embed it in the site. I have to attach the domain name and I have to buy a CMS plan because that is important. Um, and then all of that is exceptionally simple. That should take me no more than this week. I, I unless I get buried in work, which I hopefully won't be. Maybe we'll build some, some of the final fin finishing touches on the next stream um, during the weekend and goof off if there's like last touches that I need to make. But for the most part, I expect to be done with this by the weekend. Like not, nah, shouldn't really be that big of a deal at all. So now, how the fuck do we market this? How do we get users on this? That's the most important thing. I can build a macaroni and cheese.org 
in in a few days, whatever, right? And it should take me like a day of just like consistent building. But how are we gonna actually market this, right? So let's go to Instagram. Um, and let's go to Facebook. This is the fun part. Um, no, it was Facebook ants group thing. Yes. This. 1.7 million people are currently role-playing as ants on Facebook, right? A group where we all pretend to be ants in a co ant colony, right? <laughs> Comment on mac and cheese ads. No, for, straight up, for sure. That's like genuinely... Uh, a, uh, a possibility, right? And I would go and I would start, find different forums on the internet that already exist. So I would go and I would look up what's the best mac and cheese you've ever had. Let's go see. Um, literally the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Great. Um, so creamy, blah, 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 blah. Awesome. Is there any way to comment on this? Let's find out. Scroll all the way heckin' down. Literally the best mac and cheese I've ever had. Okay, great. Oh my god. Why is it so difficult to navigate your goddamn site? Aha! Boom! Made this night for the first time and everyone loved it. Perfect. Post a comment, right? I do. I would just post a comment with my website being <laughs> macaroniandcheese.org, right? So I would go and I would find all these different things and I would comment on them because that gives me, first of all, some great freaking SEO because every single, if every single like top comment or top discussion around the best mac and cheese links back to my site, then suddenly I might start ranking, right? Or that'll at least help. Um, it's not going to get me there uh, independently. Um, so boom. But this is the example that I want to use. 1.7 million people are currently role-playing as ants on Facebook, right? Hilarious. Very, very basic. Very, very simple. Um, not that big a deal at all. It's not some, something difficult. It's just a little ant colony. It's the simplest little group you could possibly think of, right? But I remember... Oh, my God. I love k Punka. He's such beautiful photos. It's incredible. Um, the thing that I was thinking of would be... Let's go to meme. Let's try to find a meme account. Um, memes are. Memes are is a huge one. Um, this guy is private, goddammit, so, meme. Let's do puberty. Puberty's a big one. Oh my god, I unfollowed puberty as well. Um, oh, maybe, here, I need to switch accounts to profile. Oh, I unfollowed them because I don't, I don't follow any, uh, meme accounts. Um, let's just go and find, like, uh, good meme accounts on Instagram. Great. 10 best uh, Instagram meme accounts to check out in 2020. Great. I remember I saw a ton of people advertising this group on Instagram and on a ton of different Instagram ads, right? And most of them, yeah, epic funny page. Um, this account is private. God, it's so annoying. Um, fuck Jerry. Fuck Jerry's a big one. Um, on Instagram. Yeah, they're, they're very popular. Sarcasm only. I, I haven't seen that one, actually. Um, there's a lot of these though, right? There's a lot of really, really popular just meme pages on Instagram. There's a ton and ton of followers, right? And if we can give something super easy to post, super easy to repost, super easy to copy, right? For a lot of these meme accounts, then hopefully it will spread because a lot of meme accounts just copy off of each other. So posting it in a few key places as like, what the hell is this thing? Macaroni and cheese .org, Um... Posting it in like a wholesome way that makes it seem like, ah, you know what, this is actually a really sweet website, but gosh dang, isn't it hilarious? <laughs> Being super clever and creating like, let's say, um, like a couple of screenshots of, of the sites, right? And a couple of other things. Um, creating a few little things like that. And just sending it to these meme accounts or emailing the right places or, or posting it on Reddit in the right, like, kind of meme places, it would be very interesting to see where, like, memes originate, right? Because you created, then you created the original place and then hopefully it spreads out if it's funny enough. But if we can create something even remotely like, um, 1.7 million ants are currently role-playing ants for ants, ants on Facebook, and we can get even a remote amount of, this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen, but I love it, kind of thing. Um, then... Hopefully we can market it to these meme accounts. If they share it, maybe that'll give us a little bit of a boost. We'll deliberately put macaroniandcheese.org in the meme thing that we send to people to make sure that it's all kind of there. Um, like subtly branded, like up in the corner, like you can barely see it. Um, 
but or maybe put the logo in there because we have macaroniandcheese.org, right? Because the logo speaks for itself. It's the domain name. Um, anything like that is hopefully going to be the advertising. It's going to be the advertising method that we use, right? And it's, it's I, I kind of see it as like viral, quote unquote, viral marketing, right? And that's weird and amorphous and funky, but commenting on existing things, like doing a little bit of like like meme PR where we send it to different meme accounts and hopefully have other meme accounts repost it, get people to go to the site, great. Um, having a forum for anybody that discusses things to, to, to boost our SEO, writing some content independently on the site. I'm gonna get my friends mostly to write like their best experience with, with macaroni and cheese. So Hannah Phillips, uh, a friend of mine, Hannah Phillips' best experience with mac and cheese, all of her, 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 her escapade to find the best mac and cheese in the world, right? Something like that. My friend Steve Rice, he says, like, I've been trying different mac and cheese. I've been trying to find the best one for my entire life. He probably has a story to write. And I would, if people are interested in doing an article on this, I will actually, like, pay you money. Like, I'm down to pay you some money to do this because I, I don't have time to write an article. I will probably write my own article, but probably only one. And then I, I'm going to need more content than that. So, articles platform for discussion um the meme marketing to get hopefully our first set of viewers um our first set of visitors uh that is forum to to boost seo beyond that and then we're probably going to try a little bit of pr so we're going to be sending it to there's only one true mac and cheese is it velveta is that your your perspective um but yeah should be very interesting should be very very interesting i'm excited about it um, but yeah, so I'm probably going to finish this in the next week and then we'll be done and it'll be awesome and lit and sweet and dab or whatever, you know, all the things. Um, let's go and attach the domain name right now. Oh no, I can't. I have to buy the thing. Hey, you know what? All right, I'll add the CMS, whatever. Um, yes, no, I want monthly billing. Add monthly. I'm just going to do it. Why not? How do you hear about us other... Uh, the web blog. Let's just say that. Um, okay. Cool. So now this is us. Uh, MacronAndCheese.org. Great. I I just want to embed stuff. So I'm going to embed, uh, let's say, multiple choice. <sighs> oh, I'm so stuffy. I hate it. Um, what's your favorite type of mac and cheese? your favorite type of mac and cheese uh craft annie's velveta um homemade 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 um slash baked um homemade slash baked great um and then i feel like if you use different pasta than macaroni you're further to the right Like for me, I do like one of the things that I did recently is I took spaghetti and I cooked spaghetti and then I added the powder from Kraft Mac and Cheese to the spaghetti and I just I, I tossed out the the other like the, the the typical noodle that it comes with because I like the spaghetti more. It's a heartier noodle, um, or at least like a, a, a more like a, just a, a better produced noodle. Um, and so homemade such baked. Am I missing anything in in favorite type of mac and cheese? Uh, Kraft, Annie's, Velveeta, homemade slash baked. Um, I'm sure there are other brands. Uh, and then add another option. So so maybe we'll have uh, add another option. Is there a way to add another option? Um, is leftist tendency interesting? So a leftist tendency would be to add the powder to other things. Interesting. Very interesting. It definitely leans more towards center because that's more anarchist, right? It's just, it's it's whatever works, right? It's just, who cares? And so I think it's a little bit more center, but the... Uh, also, it's funny that we have a two-party system for <laughs> macaroni and cheese. I feel like maybe we, maybe we create like a... We'll create a box spectrum. I feel like we'll create a box spectrum um, instead of just a line, right? Um, not the powder, but different types of noodles. Gotcha. Okay. So different types of noodles would be left. Interesting. Okay. But the powder, because I'm adding the powder, that's more right. Okay. 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 I agree with that. So we'll add another thing here. Another multiple choice. Um, 
What pasta do you use in your macaroni? What pasta do you use in your macaroni? Um, and this will be just macaroni. Um, you're a heathen if you use anything else. Macaroni elbows. Just macaroni elbows. You're a heathen if you use anything else. We're going to make it one of those, like, things. Didn't do parties, just ideology. Or parties could be uh, brand slash cheese specific. That's a good point. That's a super good point. Yeah, so uh, we didn't use, yeah, we didn't really use parties. That makes sense. Um, ideology is along the line. We'll, we'll think about it, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna, the, the, the prototype is going to be exactly what you sent me. And if, if we feel there needs to be a shift or we uh, or there's something else, um, or we get a large community and they start to just kind of change their views, we'll build it off of the community. But for now, that is this is all we need. Everything that you sent me is all we possibly could ever need. Um, what pasta do you use in your macaroni? Just macaroni elbows. You're a heathen if you use anything else. Um, uh, a few different... Kinds, um, a few different kinds similar to macaroni. Um, anything. I'll use spaghetti. I don't care. Um, it'll na it'll happen naturally. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it'll happen naturally. Just ask George Washington. <laughs> I love that. That's great. Um, that's hilarious. It's true. And just be like that sometimes. So cool. Now we have this. Click here to add a custom domain. Let's go to hosting. It's going to be uh, here. Add a custom domain. Yes. Okay. Let me quickly add this off screen because it might show some DNS information that I don't want to share. Um, I'm going to do this as quickly as I humanly can. And cheese. Uh, Org, add domain. Congrats on your RCA issues. Subdomain indexing is uh, Subdomain indexing. To avoid issues. This issue do duplicate content. No, we want it to be. No. Oh. Okay. Yes. No, that makes sense. Uh, okay. Cool. So we set that up. Boom. Make default issues detected. Is that one constant the website you got your domain from? You create two A records. So I'm gonna go to Google Domains. I'm going to go down. I'm going to manage the DNS. I'm gonna create two A records. Add. Oh. Uh. Okay. 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 Come on. You can do this quicker, Max. Um. Two A at records. My IP address. Oh no, 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 I want it down here. A, okay, yeah, perfect. A, at, this is an at, an A, and it needs to be this. Come on. You can do, oh, I can just click and copy the clipboard. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, no, that's not, we don't want a subdomain. That's not what I'm trying to do. This, and then plus another one, and then add this. Boom, add. Okay, perfect, I think that's all we need. I think that's all we need. Check status. Issues detected. Okay. Okay, it's not there yet. It's not there yet. Make default. Okay, cool. We are good to go. We are good on the domain stuff. It should work fine. In the next like hour or so, it, the, the domain is now connected. So perfect. And then I'm going to refresh this. And see if we can publish to a custom domain now that we have it up there. MacronyCheese.org, boom. MacronyCheese.org, not published. Publish to select domains. It might not work yet. We'll see. Okay, cool. Boom. Awesome. Let's see if it launched. Okay, no, it's not yet. It's not ready yet. Okay, cool. It's still connecting. Great. Um, so great. Fucking awesome. We have the domain connected. We have we bought the website tier. That's all we really need. I'm gonna build out a type form that kind of uh, defines the 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 place that you stand, um, in terms of, of what you believe in mac and cheese. Um, I will build that out. I'll post it on the website. I'll link it, and then I'll grab people's emails, and we'll be able to start an email a little email campaign from there. Um, 
we will, um, I'll create a couple little graphics for end pages. So, so we'll go through this and based on uh, a series of things, it will go to a thank you, different thank you screens, right? It'll have a series of thank you screens and the thank you screen here will say that you are a, a hardcore bakist, right? Or something like that. It'll be bakist. Um, or you are a hardcore, um, you are a hardcore craftist. You're a hardcore craftist. Um, so boom, and then I'll have, I'll make a little graphic that shows like where you lie on the political spectrum line, right? And I'll attach it as an image right there. So great. Uh, and then is there, yeah, there's a way to add an image. Perfect. Perfect. Beautiful. Um, the conditional logic jumps might be interesting. This question type doesn't work for logic jump. Um, add a logic jump, always jump to question, add a logic jump. If add another condition, yes, yes, yes. Okay, cool. So it's going to be a weird conditional map for me to make, but I can do it on type form. It's all we need. It'll lead to a, it'll lead to five different possible options. So it shouldn't be that difficult. Um, ooh, ooh. Um, but yeah, cool, neat. And I'm absolutely going to like ask for feedback once the website is done. I'm going to ask people to come on and participate, um, and start discussing and I'm going to hit a bunch, hit a bunch of my friends up and I'm going to ask them all, Hey, can you, can you write an article or can you start posting some ideas on, on the forum just to get shit started? And then once shit is a little bit started, um, we'll start launching it on memes and we'll probably make a whole uh, stream about just meme marketing. Um, yeah, we'll probably do a whole stream about meme marketing. This might be a multi-stream project. Just because this is fun. I enjoy it. I think it'll be silly. Um, it's got a lot of different little things. It's got a little a little mini product, a little quiz product that we can post elsewhere. We can make a quiz for it on, on like Facebook. We could add one of those Facebook quizzes and we can use that as actually a marketing kind of technique. Um, let's see. Facebook quiz. Launch a quiz on your page. Create a quiz now and publish it to your Facebook. Does this work? Quizzes. Can answers in just a few minutes. Interesting. No, 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 no. Um, Facebook. Uh, what are they called? Like those Facebook. Like what? What dog breed are you? Right. Like those things. What are those? Create your own Facebook. Uh, Create your own. Ah. Buzzfeed quiz. That's what they are. Buzzfeed quiz. Um, yeah, personality quizzes or Buzzfeed quiz. How to make a Buzzfeed quiz. Perfect. Um, yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, only a real film lover has seen blah, blah, blah. Oscar winning performances. Like clickbaity kind of bullshit. Um, latest. Yeah, there's a bunch of these. Pick some Halloween traits and we'll reveal which Halloween song matches your personality. That kind of BS, right? Um, I'll say, like, answer a few questions and we'll tell you tell you where you lie on the macaroni political spectrum. So, and then I'll try to get people to share that on Facebook. And at the end, maybe I'll link to, uh, by the way, you can go to https colon slash slash to, to discuss a little bit more and share this. You can share your, uh, your, your, um, result on, uh, the site, right? Pretty dang funny. Pretty dang funny. Um, but cool. Awesome. We are ready. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll publish soon. Uh, published five minutes ago. Let's see if it's, oh, no, nope, not published. That was a mistake. Uh, org published. Come on. I believe in you. I believe in you. Doesn't work yet, damn. Um, but cool. Sweet. So we're going to be posting comments. I have a bit of work to do there in terms of just spreading the word. Um, we're going to finish the website, finish this, add a, a forum, add another little page in terms of blogs. Actually, let me add um, this. We're going to go copy paste. This will be blog. And then we want another one. What was the other one? Will it be about? We should have an about page, I feel like. About. Yeah, we should have an about page. Um, 
phone, and then the blog will be all the way over here, and then the about page will be all the way here. Boom, whole about discussion blog. And the about page will have like, uh, that's where we can do like the macaroni council, and we'll make, and we'll uh, start to try to like get craft executives or people really high up at, at like macaroni companies to, to join the board and shit like that. Um, just to give us like some semblance of credibility for fun, see if that works. I think it would just be a really funny email to send. Why the hell not, right? Um, uh, there's a lot of fun stuff that we can do with this. There's a whole lot of fun stuff that we can do with this, but I will build it over this next week. It should be a whole lot of fun. We are out of time. I hope this was a blast. Um, but yeah, super easy to build websites. So would highly recommend you build something like this. Forums are also not that difficult to do apparently. So just using a discourse forum and setting it up yourself. I might go over that or I might create a small tutorial on that if, if I have trouble and Jackhammer teaches me how just so I can um, teach that back to, to others. Um, but yeah, build a website with a forum with an added product that, that kind of defines you as an individual discussion. Uh, this is kind of a, con a little bit of a discussion on SEO and a little bit of hopefully if it works, clever meme marketing. That would be really, really cool if that worked out. That would be super fun because um, I think that's just like the easiest way. But you have to have a very specific kind of mission statement. This is entertainment focused. You have to be entertainment focused if you're going to do meme marketing. So thank you for hopping on, Jack, or, uh, Jack Hammer. I'm, I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, that's my whole shtick. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed the show. Thank you for staying on. I will see you all on Saturday where we will have an absolute blast. Goof off, play video games, probably finish up a little bit of elements on this, and I'll give you at least some updates on, on the macaroni, uh, macaroni and cheese .org. Um, But yeah, there's a few ways that we can monetize this. We'll probably discuss monetization and funny ways that we could brainstorm, but likely it's going to be sponsorship, selling direct ads, or like advertising, but the advertising is a really crummy way to, to, to monetize a website. Um, so likely sponsorship and or affiliate marketing. And those are the two things, because we can easily, I could go to, what is it? Um, Amazon.com, I go to Amazon.com, I could do macaroni and cheese uh, shorts, right? And I could grab the first thing that I see that I think is kind of funny. Um, macaroni and cheese socks, that's kind of fun. Mac and cheese socks. I could sell the craft Easy Mac like uh, things. Um, macaroni and cheese apparel. Apparel. So Mac Daddy, great, perfect. Mac. I could also do a little printful thing. I could go on printful just like we did with the with the uh, dead start of teas, and I could make my own kind of merchandise if we wanna if we wanna profit more from that. Um, there's a bunch of things that I could just grab from here or uh, link via some other thing, but I could grab an affiliate link for these. I could link it to the site and be like, hey, we affiliate link this, it supports us if you buy via here. Great, right? Um, or we'll like find like insanely bulk things like bulk mac and cheese and cheese online. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, shopping. So what's the largest amount of quantity of mac and cheese that I can jam? My cheddar mac and cheese, perfect. 12 pack, there you go. Yeah, Annie's mac and cheese, like a 12 pack, something like that. Um, giant box of, of macaroni and cheese in general. Tons of, I think this is Easy Mac, maybe this is just boxes. I would just find like the largest possible um, packaging of every piece of mac and cheese, of every kind of mac and cheese, um, and try to sell it. This is kind of a joke. Um, Stouffer's my mac and cheese, 80 bucks worth. Uh, Tyson Magnet, five pound box of mac and cheese, $115. Um, mac and cheese pans for the bakers, exactly. I like that. I like that a lot. Yeah. There's a ton of products that we could spin out, right? Theoretically. Um, we'll see, but that's another potential way. It's going to be sponsorship from large mac and cheese companies, and it's going to be affiliate marketing via, via these things, right? And that's a lot easier to monetize than something just like running ads. But I'll show you how to do that. It's insanely simple to do either one. Um, the, the affiliate marketing is unbelievably easy to set up. Finding a sponsor is very difficult, clearly. I, I have two, but it took me a while. Um, so we'll see. But it all depends on popularity. We're only going to be able to make any money off of this if we get popularity on the stuff that we're building. So we need to meme market it. We need to market it in every clever way that we possibly can. So we'll experiment with that. Should be a lot of fun. Maybe on the next stream, we'll actually go about the marketing process for that. I think the marketing process for this, I think that'd be really interesting. Other than that, I hope this was interesting. It's, it's super easy to build a website. Would highly recommend you give it a shot. Um, and yeah, that's the shtick, my dudes. Hope you have a great day. Thank you for hopping on. Let me know if you have any questions or any ideas that you want me to add to this. Because I'm this is a sandbox. I'm open to any ideas. Um, 
So cool. I hit myself in the face with my hand because I saluted so hard. I will see you all later. Have a wonderful gosh dang day. Thank you for staying on for so long, Jackhammer.